Trick number one, how to collect bugs from the backs of Zenogers. So each of the Zenogers, the regular one and the Stygian, has a special item that you can get from killing them. However, you can also get it from their back if you knock or trip them over. All you gotta do is make sure you have a bug net in your inventory and run over to their back when they're tripped and collect your dues. Trick number two, extra damage on sleeping monsters. So if you're using a weapon with the sleep element and you put a monster to sleep, the attack that you do that wakes it up gets two times the normal amount of damage. And for bombs, they get three times. So pack those barrel bomb L pluses. If you run out, if you do eat for the feline pyro skill, it makes all your L bombs into L plus bombs. So it's another way to stack up the damage. When you wake it up, make sure that the hit or the small bomb that you do does not hit the monster first, or that will be the one that gets the bonus. Trick number three, intentional dismounting. So this one isn't one you're going to do a lot, but have you, if you ever get blast blight and then you accidentally mount a monster, there's a chance that you're going to blow up while you're on top of them and possibly even die. If you have this happening to you and you don't feel you can make it, just press B and you can safely dismount a monster. You still waste a mount, but hey, at least you're not dead. Trick number four, faster dismissal. Late in the game when you have a lot of palicos, you're going to want to get rid of some. So if you go to the palico board and you select to dismiss them, you get treated to this long and cute animation. Sorry, I know the image is a little cut off here. And while it's awfully adorable and I like it, it's not something you want to see if you want to dismiss like 10 palicos in a row. So in order to bypass that, just go to the menu, select palicos and dismiss, and you won't have to watch that animation. Trick number five, the angry Acantor. So once you hit HR60, you'll get a special quest which we like to call the Super Acantor, which is the Encantor Coop. One cool thing is that he's set at rage 100% of the time, so if you go in there with Challenger plus two, you're gonna get that bonus for the entire hunt, which does make it a bit easier. Check out my other tip videos and look forward to some more. Happy hunting.